Rahu, 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 Rahu and Rahu. Rahu is today's topic. What are some of the combinations and placements of Rahu, of planets related to Rahu, which can give exponential gains in your profession? Huge sums of money. <laughs> YouTube comment section of Exotic Astrology and so many other channels is flooded with this question. My Rahu is placed here. What will happen during Rahu Dasha in my profession or my marriage? But primarily Rahu is related to materialistic desire and that's how people interpret Rahu. So that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. All right. So what are some of the combinations and placements? So the first thing, the first placement of Rahu, which gives a lot of wealth. And well, before I discuss this very strong disclaimer. The placements that I will tell you today may be there in your chart, but you may not become rich or you may not become wealthy because the Dasha of Rahu may not come or because the other planets are not supporting. So astrology is like a round table conference where there are nine planets and 12 houses, 12 signs. So do not make one planet the most important planet. Okay. So look at the overall chart. Look at the houses which give you money, wealth, and then you analyze Rahu. So before you analyze Rahu, look at your Lagnesh, your Sun, Mercury, Saturn, and your 10th house, 10th Lord, you know, and do a career analysis in general, and then you should jump back to Rahu, okay? Otherwise, you will be clueless. So the first thing is, all these things that I'm saying has to be supported by overall the planets and a supportive Rahu Antar Dasha or a supportive Mahadasha, even better, okay, because Rahu Mahadasha is 18 years. So now, the first placement that I have seen, which Rahu does, uh, where Rahu gives a lot of wealth, is Rahu sitting in the 11th house. Now, why 11th house? Because 11th house is the house of gains, it's the house of fulfillment of desire. So, Rahu in the 11th. Placed in your natal birth chart or during transit can give you very good gains in your profession, okay? But it will give you gains through networks, through large associations and through uh, big people, okay? So Rahu in the 11th, the type of gains you will get is exponential. It's like uh, somebody promoting you up three levels because you have some contacts, okay? So be careful with Rahu in the 11th because if... If you use it properly, it can make you or else if you screw it, it can break you also. All right. And then apart from the 11th house, as we know, Rahu can do exceptionally good in the 10th house because 10th house is the house where the sun gets directional strength. And uh, Rahu's dream is always to eclipse the sun and he also eclipses the sun. Right. <coughs> so therefore, Rahu in the 10th can give you a lot of gains in terms of authority, leadership, power, position, name, fame, status, and uh, <coughs> influence, affluence, okay? So therefore, this is another placement which is very prominent in the bar chart. Now, the third placement is Rahu in the sixth house. Now, what, what does Rahu do in the sixth house? Rahu in the sixth house can give you phenomenal gains because it can help you to crush your enemies, okay? Now, what kind of enemies will you have? Well, that's difficult to explain. It will depend on the dashas. But the nakshatra of Rahu, so wherever nakshatra, wherever Rahu is placed in whichever nakshatra, that nakshatra can give you some clues related to that. Okay. Now, what is the fourth placement? The fourth placement is this is a critical placement. Rahu situated either in the fifth or in the eighth house related to each other or uh, the 11th house. Now, let me make it clear. <laughs> so, example, Rahu is in the 5th house and the 8th Lord is sitting with it. Or Rahu is in the 8th house and the 5th Lord is sitting with it. Or Rahu is in the 11th and the Lord of the 5th or the 8th is sitting with it. Or Rahu is, you know, uh, sitting either in the 5th or 8th and the 11th Lord is aspecting. Now, why do I say the 5th house is the house of speculation, 8th house is unearned wealth and 11th house is exponential gain. So, <coughs> Rahu related with these 3 houses, 5th, 8th and 11th, 
can give you exponential gains in the stock market. But if it is on the other side, <coughs> related to 5th, 8th and 12th, these, the 12th house, it can give you exponential losses. So Rahu connected with the 5th and 8th, you should be very careful. You can become, uh, your story can be rags to riches or riches to rags. If there is the 11th house, you will be rags to riches. If it is the 12th house, you will lose all your money. So be very careful with that. What is the next placement of Rahu that can do wonders for you? That's Rahu in the Ascendant, of course. Who can forget Rahu in the Ascendant? Why? <coughs> because the Ascendant is also uh, the house where, uh, you, know, you know, if you see, Sasuria is the Karaka for uh, the first house, right? And we also know that the sun gets exalted in the uh, first sign, which is Aries. So, the first house is a very... Um, it's like one of the Rahu's favorite houses, 1st, 10th and 11th, because <coughs> this house can actually uh, give you a lot of uh, gains and influence through your personality, okay, your smartness, your charisma and all this, okay. Now, which is the next placement that Rahu can do very good? The Rahu in the 3rd house connected with the 10th or the 11th or both of them, okay, so which means Rahu is in the 3rd and uh, the tenth lord is also in the third house. Rahu is in the third, and the eleventh lord is also in the third house. Or Rahu is in the third, and the tenth lord or the eleventh lord are aspecting Rahu. Okay, then also this can be very good because the third house is the house of courage, and you can have exponential gains because of your courage. Now, on the contrary, if Rahu is in the third. And conjunct the lords of the Dusthanas. So, third house Rahu conjunct with the sixth lord or eighth lord or the twelfth lord. This can give you um, uh, courage which is unrealistic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, then you will have tendency to take uncalculated risks. You will, uh, or rather, I would say you may do blunders in life. Okay. So, Rahu in the third can give you a lot of gains provided. The 10th Lord or the 11th Lord is associated with it, okay? Now, next placement for Rahu is, if Rahu is very powerfully placed in the Kendra, in the 1st, 4th, 7th and 10th, uh, in a well, in a good dignity. Now, what does it mean in a good dignity? Good dignity means either Rahu is, you know, uh, <coughs> earth sign, are the sign you know, like Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or he's in an airy sign, okay, like Gemini, then Libra, or Aquarius, okay. So then Rahu becomes very powerful because then Rahu can uh, impact your life, your decisions in a very powerful way. And among the Kendra, as you know, he's most powerful in the first or in the tenth house, okay. So even if he's not in the first or tenth, even if he's in the 4th or 7th, but he's well placed, he can give you <coughs> very good gains, okay? The next placement, if is if Rahu is in a trine, but associated with a powerful Kendra Lord, like the 1st or the 10th. So, if Rahu is in the 5th with the 1st Lord, or the 10th Lord is conjunct uh, Rahu in the 5th house, or Rahu is in the 9th, conjunct the Lagna Lord or the 10th Lord, then... This is also a very good combination for wealth because then Rahu can actually give you very good luck and very good intuition. Remember, the trines always give intuition. Okay, trines are the houses of intuition. So Rahu in the trines, but supported by the tenth lord or the lagna lord or the eleventh lord, can give you humongous gains through your intuition. You will know within seconds, <clears throat> how is this person? You want to hire somebody? Okay. You know, the moment you see somebody, you will know it. Okay. So, therefore, these are very powerful placements of Rahu. And depending on where is your Rahu. And if you have Dashas. And <clears throat> if you have other planets which are supporting Rahu. You will have phenomenal gains in your life. Alright. 
so check your chart and do let me know in the comments where is your rahu and uh, what's going on in your rahu mahadasha or altar dasha okay or else what would you like rahu to give you during this mahadasha antar dasha or transit all right thank you so much if you liked this video then please hit the thumbs up this helps the channel to grow with the youtube algorithm and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to the channel and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time irrespective of where your rahu is just look to him and you will surely find him right there thank you so much